Yo, what's up, guys? Beth last year back for another video. Today, I'm going to be um, doing one ladder game. Try to get top 1000 with Fast Minor Cycle. Sorry, I haven't been posting lately. Um, log bait's really tough in the meta. I've been getting. Uh, just getting destroyed by a lot of Gob Goblin Trail Fire Spirit decks. But hopefully, we can pull off a victory here. Here's the plan of this video is to show you guys that. Uh, I untilted, and I also played some log bait today, so not just minor cycle. Let's see, we go skeletons. Um, our opponent is not making a, um, not playing anything. So we just want to go for a roll, roll delivery at the bridge here. He just has bar barrel. Not sure what he's playing. Um, okay. Recruit does get one hit. Uh, let's go for a minor. This guy's playing really patient. Okay, he's going for a lumberjack. So look, uh, it's probably going to be golem, and golem's a really difficult matchup with this deck because you have no good DPS and yeah. Interesting. He has a uh, inferno dragon, lumberjack, and barbarrel. So okay. Uh, you just had a rock of this. Balloon. And this matchup is fairly easy because if you have a uh, Tesla or whatever, he plays help kill this Inferno Dragon, his Electro Dragon, and as well as um, being annoying so he can't play his Balloon. Let's go for an Electro Spirit like this. Let's go for Skeletons. Okay, I kind of failed that, but that's okay. Let's put our Tesla one tile in. So if he balloons in the far right corner, it's going to pull it. Uh, let's go for a Dark Prince in the back here. Help against defense against that Lumberjack. Let's see. Okay, looks like he's going to go in here, guys. So. Okay, that Bowler is going to splash onto our tower. Oh, okay, that balloon is getting pulled. I'm just going to rock it. Nice how to use a Barbarrel on defense there, but. Um, we took two hits from the bowler, and that's really annoying. Let's see, cycle Electro Spirit. Cycle Miner like this. Going for another Tesla. Right, let's just go for delivery right here. Go for a log. And let's go for a rocket here, guys. Let's see how he's going to respond to this. Boom gets pushed back. Okay. Hopefully that's not death damage. Okay, we're good. It's gonna bowler. I'm just gonna electro spirit once again. Go for another uh, Tesla. This time a little bit higher, so we can snipe whatever he plays. All right. Can we go in for a dark prince because he might get bowler value? But let's do it anyways. Why not? I go for a log. Let's go for rocket guys. Okay. Let's go for electro spirit. Hopefully our tar target comes to balloon. Nice, it does. Let's go for Dark Prince like this, pulling that um, Fro Dragon back. Nice. Let's go for another High Tesla, guys. Okay, so far so good. If you don't want a Bloom connection, that'll be really bad. Let's go for a Miner like this, trying to um, fake out a Tornado or something. Okay, let's go for Rocket here. Hopefully we hit everything here, guys. Nice, we do. Uh, just cycle a log. Uh, main purpose here is to cycle back to our Tesla, so it'll help out on defense a lot if you cycle back to another one really fast. Or else he's going for a Lumberjack. Super skeletons here to distract and go for a road delivery. Help clean up. He's going for Rocket. Okay, goes for a uh, Priest, go for a Tesla. Okay, that balloon almost connected. That was really crazy. Um, Miner's going to get chip damage. Let's see. Let's play another Tesla. Let's go for another Miner, guys. I think we're going to rocket this for sure. Let's go for a Royal Delivery just in case. Nice delivery comes in clutch there. And we just need to talk about to another rocket. And that's going to be a GG right here. Very nice game. The balloon did not connect once, but... His bowler got a lot of value. 
because you can't really play anything into it. Because if you play the Dark Prince, it's going to splash into our tower. But to help with the test and delivery, you're able to defend. That's really nice. And here we are. We're top 1,000 finally. It took me so long, and it's 20 days, 8 hours left. And I'm just going to show you guys some replays of why uh, Minor Cycle is really good. I've been playing it for the past uh, couple of days. Um, someone on my friends list, list named Real Alpha is a really solid bait player, really solid cycle player. Uh, I just saw this on a profile. I'm just going to try it out, and it's really well. So shout out to him. He's a really good player. So against uh, Hoggy Q, this deck, you just want to um, keep up with their cycle. Well, he's using the rocket version, so you just have to save our Tesla every time for his hog rider. And try not to give him any firecracker value because I know he's trying to go for it here. So I went for a delivery here. Or I did not, but that's fine. He's going in for a hog rider, so I'm just go for a Tesla. Like this. I tried to get the King Tower activation here, but it kind of failed. The firecracker ended up dying. And against a uh, fast cycle rocket decks, you always want to keep up with your cycle. Try not to get uh, behind on elixir. Try not to overcommit because that's what happens. Here I'm just gonna. Hmm. They just cycle back to my Tesla because I knew he was probably back to his uh, hog rider really soon. So for Dark Prince, yep, yeah, he's back to his hog rider for Tesla here. A nice cleanup. Here's really minor, it's really solid. Um, in some ways, it's better than the Goblin Drill, in my opinion, because it's super fast and people are not going to catch it all the time. And it's only three elixir. And I always, the key is to keep uh, um, changing your minor placements because if you do, you're always going to guarantee like damage a couple. 100 damage every time, and it's going to add up a lot, guys. Minor is still a viable win condition. It's only good if you know how to play it right and correctly. So here, it's decided to go for Rocket and Electro Spirit, hopefully that, killing that Tessa. Really nice. He goes in Rocket as well. And as you guys see here, I Rocketed first, so it's good for us because we're going to cycle much faster than he is, and he's just trying to keep up. Let's go for a Tesla. Went for a Minor. He's late on the skeletons there, so the miners want to get like three hits. I uh, went for a delivery here. And Electro Spirit, making sure that um, Firecracker doesn't hit for high skeletons. He goes back to his Hog Rider. I'm just going to Tesla high. You always want to change your uh, Tesla placements as well because you never know if your opponent's going to prediction Tesla with a rocket. People do that quite often, guys. I don't know why, but it's super risky. Very nice Electro Spirit there, that's why Electro Spirit's super good. Help kill that Firecracker. For another high uh, Tesla, going for a Miner. He doesn't have really good counter, just only Skeletons. Going for Electro Spirit because I knew he was trying to block his Firecracker or something. Go for a Log to finish it off, really nice. Dark Prince, waiting for him to Hog Rider. I think he's going to Rock instead. So we're going to Rock it as well. And I think I hear I, I think he gave up. I'm not sure what happened. It's probably a difficult for him to break through, and we're just gonna get minor chip damage. And anyway, that's a really nice game. Fortunately, I lost here because just, I had nothing good for his uh, bandit dark prince combination. Really solid. Now I'm gonna go um, show you guys a uh, match against E Giant here. In this match, you just want to cycle uh, your sheep cards first, see what opponent has, go for a log for chip damage, really important, because minor is a chip damage win condition, if it's even considered one. So I always pair my uh, Electro Spirit with my minor all the time. But unfortunately, here I kind of got a, a drag glitch, so that's why I yeah, see a delayed minor here. So it goes for a Dark Prince. I go for a delivery. He's kind of like to play the delivery on... Uh, 
Dark Prince because you can save your your own Dark Prince for whatever else they have, like a Goblin Drill or something. So I just suck on my Tesla because I know um, I can get back to another one if you, and I want him to play as uh, E-Giant because it's going to be super easy for us to defend. Here I go in for a Dark Prince to back. Electro Spirit try to slash into that uh, Bomber. Pretty nice. We're going to clean up the delivery here on that Inferno Dragon. I think he got some damage here. Actually surprised. Just like the Road Giant guys, the E Giant, always with one HP, always gets the last shot, last zap shot in. It's super annoying. It's the last 200 damage in, that's a lot of damage. So we gotta be you gotta be careful. I think I just went for a minor here. Yep. Opposite lane. I think I went for a dark prince of my own here. Yeah, I'm going for a, a high East Rips. I know he's trying to tornado it away, and he actually did tornado. Try to get some cheeky damage there, but failed. Now, I think um, I just went for another Tesla because I have not, nothing else to play, and it's really actually good play. Tesla just in the middle like that because it's just going to finish off whatever your opponent has, like Goblin Brawler. It's going to die. So, for a minor like that, because I knew his, uh, rocket was, his tornado was out of cycle, went for Rocket here. That's E Giant, and I knew since it was double elixir, and I also needed damage, so went for rocket cycle early on. Went for a log here. Really nice hitting that bomber. I went for Nartesla, help uh, pull that DPS down that E Giant, really nice. And road delivery to clean everything up. Went for another miner here to pressure. Went for a, a, an aggressive E Giant, just went for a Dark Prince. Log here, trying to um, knock it back to Artesla, but it failed, so I had to go for another one. You need to use a lightning on that. The Dark Prince is actually really good at DPSing things down. That's why he's super broken and popular in the meta. This Dark Prince has a lot of HP and does a lot of damage and is super good against the Goblin Drill. Here I paired my miner with a log. Helped catch a skeletons or something, but helped DPS on a Dark Prince, so it's not a bad log. For a high Tesla, so we can't lightning. My tower went for a delivery and Dark Prince and skeletons. That was kind of a bad skeleton because he just died. Went for a log here. Yeah, I think he just went for an Electro Spirit plus a Road Delivery combination. He goes for a Dark Prince in the back. I think went for my own in dark in the back here. And going for a high Tesla so he can't lightning. Went for a, a log like that. You play your Tesla a uh, one tile. Um, below the bridge, it's a good placement because you can't land in your tower and it's also not super high up where his troops can snipe it easily. And for a minor depressure, because I knew that he has to spend some elixir on defense and can't um, commit to a big push. For another Tesla, guys, super easy defense here. Predicted his Inferno Dragon with our skeletons like that. I kind of failed our log here, tried to knock back Dark Prince, but that's okay. And for Electro Spirit. Delivery, make sure everything cleaned up. Going for a log here, and here I just spammed our Dark Prince skeletons, helped DPS everything down. Looking at my log um, in hand, help um, kill that E Giant for another minor pressure. And at this moment, he should have went E Giant at the bridge, guys, but he didn't. Now he does a little late. Um, goes in again, and this is like so much rocket value here, guys. So I just take it. I hit everything. That's really nice. Or delivery is super OP against E Giant because it cleans everything up. It does a ton of damage. It's kind of underrated card. I went for a minor to help um, Divas down his tower. So in case I kind of choke in the last seconds, I don't lose the game. And we're really a nice victory here against E Giant. If your opponent plays E Giant correctly, but he didn't have Mother Witch for some reason. It's super hard to break through against with uh, just regular log bait. Here, um, I'll show you guys some log bait matches. I'm gonna show that um, in another video because I kind of played it a lot. And here, I'm gonna show showcase you guys why um, this deck is so OP against Goblin Drill because it's insane fast cycle. Your opponent just gives up.
Can't do anything. So Dark Prince is just a hard counter to Goblin Drill. That's why it's so popular. When Dark Prince like this last second. So the Goblin locks onto it. Get that full counter. We just only take the spawn damage. But that's okay. You just went for um, Electro Spirit here. And a log combination. If you don't know, the Electro Spirit plus log helps kill the bomber. That's really important. And if I, I switched up to Minor Cycle in this game because I faced Goblin Drill earlier and it was actually a great call because I'm going against it again and this time I have matchup. Just went for a Dark Prince here, easy counter. Went for Electro Spirit, clean up those bats. If I were playing Log Bait in this match, I would probably lose super badly because he had Fire Spirit, Log, Fast Cycle, of course, and Fireball. So he could just win for Goblin Drill Fireball every time and always get damage. It's super annoying. Went for a delivery here. Really nice cleanup. Cycles Log, that's okay. And I think I went for a Miner here. I went for Skeletons in the Mill, help um, kill, distract that Fire Spirit. And he goes in again, so I went for Electro Spirit early. And a log, really nice combination. Went for Dark Prince. Clean everything up. For a Miner here, hoping to pull back his Valkyrie. Sometimes if you play your Miner in the back when you have a Dark Prince on a counter push. You actually pull whatever, try to um, defend your Dark Prince with towards the back. And you're just going to get a connection. That's really nice. Sure, I think for Rocket Cycle, because um, you know, it could defend its pushes. For Electro Spirit, it's kind of bad. So I did one for Delivery and the Log here, clean everything up. And look, he goes in again, so I just went for another Tesla. Yeah, my Dark Prince in Cycle. One for Dark Prince, and I think one for Electro Spirit to help clean up those, those bats, really nice. Here, you just want to keep up with this cycle and not overcommit. Just went for a minor here to create some pressure. I think you see him deliver here for his bomber and he played his fire spirit, so he got some value there. Went for skeletons plus log. Here, and I went for rock here because I knew I was kind of up in elixir or sand elixir. And that's the best way to get damage with this deck, just rocket cycle, guys, because you just defend so easily with the. Royal Delivery, Electro Spirit combination. I went for Dark Prince here. I uh, went for a Log here because I knew that I should not let that Bomber splash too much. I went for another Miner. He fails to catch it and it's going to put his tower, tower to rocket range. I believe it or not, guys, as your Miner locks onto your opponent tower, it's always going to bring it down to rocket range when you need it because Miner is super re reliable and does like 70 damage a hit and super solid. I think um, I played a super crazy defense here against Mega Knight. And um, Mega Knight, a uh, poison bridge spam is kind of a 50 50 matchup with Classic Bait because you can't really break through. So the Barbarell, and they have a surprisingly fast cycle with um, four elixir cards. Actually, since he has Mother Witch, they have a matchup because you can't really use your Goblin Gang on defense when they have it in hand. That's why it should get a nerf because all swarm cards are super bad against it. One for Dark Prince here, help um, defend. Goes to Electro Wizard. Here, one for Tesla here because I thought he was just playing some sort of a bridge fan deck, so it's okay to cycle our Tesla. One for Electro Spirit here, help preserve its HP so it can defend against that Mega Knight. I think I went for a minor to pressure so he can't build a big push. It was an aggressive bar brawl, so I just went for a Dark Prince here. I think I went for a log here and a Royal Delivery. An Electro Spirit, help clean everything up. Really solid, Ram Rider barely doesn't connect. It's really nice defense. Always Royal Delivery always gets so much value on defense because it does so much damage. It's underrated and... It's not that slow, guys. Always gets the job done. And Royal Recruit actually puts in work. 
Here he goes for a uh, Mother Witch. I think he just went for a... Uh, a Rocket. I thought I went for a Miner, but I didn't. Tesla Mega Knight in the back pass. He can't really go in. If he Mega Knights the bridge, I can just defend him with like, the Dark Prince and Tesla combination super easily. So for a Tesla. Goes for Inferno Dragon, so I just went for a Dark Prince. And a Road Delivery. Easy counter. Just like that, guys. Went for Skeletons. I think I went for a Electric Spirit Miner combination here to help clean everything up. Miner on defense is also underrated because Miner has a lot of HP and defends a lot. Just went for a Log Cycle here. And I just went for Rocket straight up with the end of Marvish because I'm not playing around, guys. Not giving him any double lane pressure opportunity. So I decided to do a Ram Rider and Mega Knight. Went for Tessa, Dark Prince, and Bills. In the back, so I can get that charge damage up. One for skeletons away. Electro Spirit, luckily, Electro Spirit stuns the Ram Rider. One for a log here. Delivery and a Dark Prince. Yes, Ram Rider's gonna connect, but we're still up in damage. I went for aggressive miner here, try to pull back whatever he has. He's forced to sacrifice uh, Electro Wizard, which is really good. Look at that, guys. Miner chipping away. It's tower down to 1835. Here I could have uh, rocketed, but I decided not to. I wanted to build a counter push again. So back to my miner to get more damage. Forced to play a Mega Knight here. And once again, guys, it's going to give us so much uh, road delivery value. So I went for a Tesla. Log, wait for everything to come down. The Dark Prince here, and delivery on top. Look at that, cleans everything up. Mother Witch is trying to get value here. He's going for a Electro Spirit, Miner, and a Log. At this point, it's always okay to use your or extend user Miner on defense because we have a damage lead and this deck is super good against, the, super good at defending. So I just went for a Tesla here and just went for a Rocket, not messing around, guys. DP DPSing down at Mega Knight as well. Only 60 seconds left and he's going for. Rubbish in the back, I just went for a Dark Prince. And here I sniped it with a Miner here, but he went for Electro Spirit, Electro Wizard. I just went for a Tesla in the middle here. Went for a Log. He's going to Mega Knight. Look at that, guys. His troops are just basically dead, and it's giving me so much raw delivery value here in a second. Killing the Electro Wizard and the Mother Witch. I guess Ram Riders can connect the opposite lane, but you have such a damage lead, it doesn't really matter. For a high Tesla here, um, in a log to help kill out Ram Rider really quickly. With only 20 seconds left. He just doesn't need to play defense because they're up in a thousand. And yeah, he just gives up there because he knows that he's not breaking through. The Tesla delivery Dark Prince is so OP. And that's going to be a GG. Water takes tower and that's going to be a good game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry I couldn't um, record it live because it's kind of really loud in my house and I'm kind of busy. I could kind of took time off against with the game, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one coming out really soon. Double upload today. Uh, really commentating um, log bait. See you guys later. Bye, guys.